So there's a rapper named Little Dirk, and he's this gentleman right here, young fella right there. And uh, he might not get out. Uh, he allegedly tried to off a guy, um, his crew off the guy's friend. And the five guys of that crew, the OTF crew, were arrested in Chicago. Dirk was trying to get out of the country. Uh, he booked a flight out of South, uh, South Florida to Dubai and Switzerland. I think they was trying to, he was trying to play a game so he didn't know which way he was going. But he ended up booking a private flight to Italy but the feds caught up with them before he even got to the flight. Here's the thing. This isn't like the years of catch me if you can with the Leonardo DiCaprio, which was set in the 60s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. You might be able to kind of flee the country if you got in type of tr trouble, but in 2024 with so much technology and they can track you everywhere, it's, it's, it's hard to do. Especially, you need like a network of people to get you out of the country um, if you were in trouble like that. And he just... He, he couldn't do it. He just, they caught him before he was able to fly out. So these charges are pretty, pretty severe. And what happened was um, they caught him because one of guy, one of guys in his crew, uh, OFT Jam, I think, allegedly, his name, I think, he uh, was wearing a wire for two years. That's a lot to wear a wire for two years. And OFT Jam was in prison for 12 years. When he came out, Dirk gave him money, a car, a place to stay. And this dude wore a wire. Now, most likely, they say, hey, you know, we the feds must have had something on him. Say, hey, well, either A, you go back to prison or you wear this wire. I would be too scared to wear a wire. <laughs> uh, dudes would be like, what's that? What's what? <laughs> that bulge. I don't know what you're talking about. Wait a minute. Take him out of here. No. <laughs> I'll be too scared for me getting caught by some goons. <laughs> so no way I would wear a wire. But what I learned from the first 48, Guys will snitch in a second. If it, if it, if it's all this no snitching thing isn't true. If a dude doesn't want to go to prison, go want to go, don't want to go back to prison, he will do whatever he can to either get out of prison or not go back. And if that means wearing a wire or snitching on somebody, they'll do it. There is no loyalty. Now, if I'm this guy, this OFT uh, jam, if I'm him, I'm trying to leave this country like i'm wherever flights that that was uh that dirk was trying to go on to dubai and switzerland and personally i would go to italy i would i would leave this country and go to italy because he cannot he cannot stay in chicago he, he cannot stay in an area where these guys know who he are who he is because now he is a marked man because he he wore a wire like sammy the bull gravano went into witness protection but he couldn't help himself after he testified against uh, sammy uh, uh, john Gotti. he went in witness protection and he hated it. I think it was in Arizona. And then he ended up starting some operation. And then he got arrested. And he went to prison. Now I think he has a podcast. Like there's, because of that mob, that old school mob lifestyle, most of those guys are, are either in dead or in prison. And now he got like a podcast. I think he was talking about Diddy the other day. It's like, it's like Sammy Bull got commentary. But yeah, if I'm that dude and I ain't snitched and I wore a wire, nah, man, you got you got you got to go to uh, you got to get hooked on phonics and learn Espanol, <laughs> going to Mexico because you can't you can't stay here. But the thing about Little Dirk, listen, I'm a nerdy dude. I love popular culture. I love comic books. I love TV. I love movies. I had two great parents. I got a loving brother. My most the men in my family. I had a couple of street dudes in my family for the, but for the most part, just street dudes, the men in my family were good men. I had nothing but positive men in my life. A lot of people didn't grow up like me. A lot of people grew up in a different situation. They grew up in a situation where maybe it wasn't a dad. Maybe it was just a mom. Maybe the, the, the men in his, in, in, in his life were, uh, were, were dudes on the street, street culture. Maybe he found, or maybe he found more love in the street from, from street dudes than, in, than, his, than his home. Like I could have very easily grew up in that, you know. I had a friend in college, and she said uh, her and her cousin look exactly the like. Is that the only difference is she looks sicker because I'm in law school and she's on drugs. But if it wasn't for that, she would look, we would look just alike. So we can't dictate who, what, where we're born into, right? But Dirk got out of that, like Dirk got out of that street life because he became a successful rapper. Like, listen, he's not Jay-Z where he has the, like uh, hundreds of millions, like billions in the bank. He, he's not that guy, right? 
but he's made enough money where for you to book a flight to like Dubai or Switzerland or, or a private flight to Italy, you know how much money it costs? To, the, that's like George Clooney stuff to get a private flight. To <laughs> so he had pretty good money in the bank and this being a rapper. Like, I just feel like if you're a street dude and you become a successful rapper or artist or athlete or you create a business or you're a YouTuber, whatever you find success in, you got to leave that life behind. Yeah, there might be some dude that did something that you hate, that you're irate about, that you do want to get rid of this guy, but you can't. You got too much to lose. The only person I know in recent years who said they had nothing to lose is uh, Arthur Fleck in the first Joker. After he was on Murray, uh, Murray's talk show, played by Robert De Niro, and he was dressed as Joker, and he was talking about all the crimes he did. And Murray was asking him, so why are you saying this now? And Joker is like, I got nothing else to lose. <laughs> Shout out to Joaquin Phoenix, man. There were no scenes like that in Joker 2. <laughs> I got nothing else to lose. <laughs> but little Dirk does. I don't know if he took care of his mama, his grandmother. I don't know if he had kids friends and family like that dude who set him up that guy came out little dirt when that guy that guy was in prison for 12 years the guy who wore the wire dirt gave him like bought him a house i think a car uh gave him money like dirt treated him like family but dirt uh, other than that like dirt could have family he was taken care of a couple of days ago dirt got the, the keys to the keys to the city in chicago or something like that and part of it was that he had this foundation for kids now, but now uh, I think the city divorced themselves of that. So now, if there if he had a foundation, it was for kids, and and, and if the foundation's no more, then now there's kids. Kids are now back in the street. Now their lives might not be, might not go in a positive direction anymore just because Dirk got arrested. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't do it. You got too much to lose when you're this successful. Now look at him, like this. This picture is from a music video. But he was living his lifestyle. He was living a private plane lifestyle. He probably had lots of money, private jets, cool parties, met some people he probably would have never met before, hot chicks that, that he probably never thought he would have relations with. He was living the life that a lot of guys his age who were younger dreamed of. He made it. But you can't, you got to separate yourself from that street life. The, the friends that you have, you can always love them and support them. But if they if they have bad karma and bad energy, you can't be around them. If you're a guy like Dirk who had a bad impulse because he was wanting to go after this dude, you got to have someone in your crew saying, like, this is not the way to go. You got you have nothing left. You got, you got too much to lose. In fact, there was a podcast where um, there's, a, there's a rapper named King Von. He, was, he got killed a few years ago. And I think the guy's name, there's another guy named Wallow. And Wallow, you know, he was heartbroken over that because King Von was his dude. But he said he had to get the hate out of his heart because it's not he was going to eat him up alive. And Dirk was sitting it was some podcast and Dirk was there listening to him. He was talking to Dirk. And I think, I think he knew maybe he saw himself in Dirk and tried to dissuade him not to do anything crazy. Um, because you can't, you gotta, you can't let this stuff eat you up alive. Even if that dude did something to your family or a loved one that you hate this person, you can't do it because you have too much to lose. So the funny thing about the Dirk thing. So Dirk is locked up. It's weird. Cause I saw DJ academics. He was talking about this and I think, academics started to cry he 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 said oh my no 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 way and he went he, he walked off and came back and he fell to the ground it's like he was crying it's like oh my god i guess maybe you are friends i don't know but the funny thing about the dirk thing is so dirk's going to jail while young thug might be coming out of jail because fanny willis's crack team that prosecution had somebody on the witness stand reading something but there was a part of it that should have been redacted and it wasn't redacted and the jury heard something that should have been redacted. And now then uh, Thug's trial lawyer asked uh, for a uh, the mistrial and he's been trying forever and think that, and the judge's like, yeah, <laughs> this might be a mistrial. So we'll find out eventually if the Young Thug trial has been going on for two years, thanks to Fannie Willis, that great Fannie Willis in Atlanta, Georgia, who's the, the most expensive court case ever, might get a mistrial. Because she's a horrible district attorney. <laughs> yeah, I said it. Fanny Willis is horrible. But y'all voted her back in. Go figure. So, or maybe voted her back in. She still has to get voted back in. We'll see in November. But yeah, but if you're a guy like Dirk and you become successful, think twice before going after someone. Think twice of your friends because you have too much to lose.